Hey guys, my name is Darrell Smith and I'm the founder and CEO of 99 Eats in Brooklyn, New York. And today we're teaching people who make nasty potato salad how to make good potato salad. And we're going to do so using simple ingredients often found in our fridge and pantries. After college, I played briefly in the NFL before a career ending neck injury caused me to come to New York City and pursue a career in advertising. But in the back of my mind, I just knew that I was supposed to do something else. And so I entered a meatball competition and I won and decided to start a business out of it. And I started Amazeballs and we've been operating since. We've been featured in Barclay Center. We've been featured at Smorgasburg. My love for food came from watching the women in my family cook. My mother and my grandmother would cook Sunday dinner for the family. Everyone would come over and it was just this healing ceremony that took place in our living room each Sunday. This idea of making potato salad, I think is my responsibility and my obligation, being as though my grandmother is from the South and I know how to make it the right way. But that's why I got into food, so I can show people what it's like to be at a Southern Black grandma's table. Potato salad in the Black community is something that is extremely important. And one of my earliest memories as a child is going to a cookout and my mom actually looking at me and asking, who made the potato salad? Three pounds of russet potatoes boiled with the skin on, one half cup of salt plus water for boiling the potatoes, three eggs boiled for eight minutes, remove those from the pot of uh, potato water so they don't become overcooked, one cup of mayonnaise, one half cup of sour cream for the tang, two tablespoons Dijon mustard that stings the nostril, of course, we got the one tablespoon of apple cider vinegar, and this will create a balance and give it a little funk. One half cup of sweet pickle relish. This will be our sugar um, and our sweetness for the potato salad. Two stalks of celery, finely chopped. And we'll also add a grated cup of carrot, which will also be a sweetener to our potato salad as well, as well as some color. A half a cup of yellow onion. This will be the crunch. It's also a little sweet. And since it's our main onion, we'll add more um, yellow than we add of the other ones. One half cup of red onion, chopped small. You don't want big onions because people will get mad at you if they eat on a big onion and they don't expect it. A half a cup of finely chopped chives, or if you got scallions, that's fine as well. The way you do it, you'll boil the potatoes. Make sure you keep the skin on or you'll have a waterlogged potato. Um, you'll boil the potatoes with the eggs in the salted water for, I would say, 20 minutes. Remove the eggs after eight minutes. We're gonna let those cool while we get started on our mix for the potato salad. This is a step that I like to do separately because it allows you more control over how much mix you add to the actual potatoes and just gives you a better overall product. Drain and peel and then cut the potatoes into cubes and place into a large bowl. Gently fold potatoes with mayonnaise, sour cream, Dijon mustard, vinegar, chopped eggs, celery, carrot, relish, salt, and pepper. You can add mayo or sour cream and or relish, I would say in one tablespoon intervals if you wanted sweeter, uh, creamier, or tangier. And then finally, you top with an egg that you cut into quarters and sprinkle paprika and dried parsley over top for color. You can serve it warm and eat immediately or you put it in the refrigerator for a few hours. I would say eat it within the three or four days of making it tops, four tops, but about three days, I think be really good. Now we're going to try it. I immediately get that creaminess from that mayonnaise and that sour cream, but not heavy. I get a little bit of bite from that Dijon, but it's at the back of my tongue. 
and you get that sweetness from that relish and that carrot. You get that crunch from that onion and you get that crunch from that celery. Good God. That's how you make potato salad. That's what you bring to the function. Damn. Yo, raisins, unacceptable. Uh, craisins, unacceptable. The, the chocolate covered raisins, unacceptable. Um, what else? Horseradish, unacceptable. You never want somebody to look at your potato salad like this. Because that's when you know nobody's gonna eat it. We truly appreciate you watching our video today. If you have any questions, feel free to personally reach out to me. My name is Relly Crocker on Instagram. And yeah, now you got a good recipe. There's no excuse for you to bring nasty potato salad to the function ever again.